This video defines power series. Informally, a power series is a series with a variable in it, often the letter x, and it looks like a polynomial with infinitely many terms. For example, if we look at the series, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2n plus 1 times x to the n over 3 to the n minus 1, that's a power series with variable x. If we expand that out by plugging in values of n, we get when n equals 0, 1 times x to the 0 over 3 to the minus 1 x to the 0 is 1, and 3 to the minus 1 on the denominator is the same as 3 on the numerator, so we can rewrite this term as just 3. The next term, when n equals 1, is 3 times x to the 1 over 3 to the 0. We can rewrite this as 3x, since 3 to the 0 is 1. The next term is 5x squared over 3, and we can continue like this. I want to point out that when working with power series, x to the 0 is always taken to be 1, even though there's a possibility that x could end up being 0, and 0 to the 0 is considered undefined in other contexts. When working with power series, x to the 0 for any value of x is 1. The next series expands out to 1 plus 5 times x minus 6, and so on. This is an example of a power series centered at 6 because of all the factors of x minus 6. In general, a power series centered at a is a series of the form the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n times x minus a to the n, where x is the variable. The c sub n's are real numbers, they're constants, called the coefficients, and a is also a real number, a constant, that's called the center. If I expand out the power series and write out the first few terms, it looks like this, where c sub 0 is the constant term. Notice that x minus a to the 0 is taken to be 1, even when x equals a. If the power series is centered at 0, then we just set a equal to 0. We can write this a little more efficiently in the following form. Sometimes you might see a power series that starts with index of 1 instead of 0. That's perfectly legit, it just means there's no constant term. Or if you prefer, you can think of the constant term as being 0. It's also fine for the index to start at some other positive number. But it's not considered a power series if the index starts at a negative number, resulting in x's in the denominator. That's all for the definition of power series.